Before you go home, I need this project finished. Do you understand? Yes, sir. As usual, Viren, you did a great job. Now you get out. The project deadline is next week. I don't know how I'm going to finish it today, and I've already booked tickets for IPL. I can help you. What's this? Just wear it. Why? Put it on. You'll see. Bro, what's this? How did I become invisible? What if invisible technology really existed? Wouldn't it be incredible to lurk in the shadows like the Batman? As a matter of fact, there is a technology in this world that is responsible for making huge airplanes invisible. It's called stealth technology. Okay, sorry to interrupt you, but I've got something on priority to do before tomorrow's match. You guys carry on. <laughs> In this Science Insight, we're going to explore invisible technology and how it helps several countries sneak past the borders of other countries. We can easily spot a bird that's flying with the help of visual apparatus. But it's hard to see an aircraft that's flying above the clouds. So most countries detect these aircrafts with the help of a technology called radar. Radar detects all airplanes which happen to pass the country's borders. Radar, abbreviated as radio detection and ranging, consists of a huge antenna which is used for both sending and receiving radio waves. Radio waves are the same kind of waves that are used to send and receive voices in radio communications, mobile communications, etc. Here in radar, Radio waves are sent all over the vast sky. When a passenger flight or private jet or helicopter flies in the sky, the vastly spread radio waves from radar hit the metal surfaces of the aircraft and are reflected back to the ground, similar to how light hits an object and is reflected back to its source. When radio waves are reflected back to the ground, they are received by the same huge antenna of the radar system. This signal that returns to the radar system alerts it that there is something made of metal flying in the sky. The radar system also calculates and finds the speed of the aircraft that's flying above by calculating the duration between the sent and received radio waves. It also calculates the size of the aircraft by measuring the difference between the sent and received energy of the radio wave. Due to the invention of the radar system, it is difficult for a military aircraft to pass through an enemy's borders. During World War II, Nazi Germany developed a fighter-bomber aircraft. They named it Hortenhof 229. It was uniquely designed. And to their surprise, it reflected incoming radio waves away from the radar system and prevented the reflection of radio waves back to the ground. So, it managed to hide from the radar detection system. After this accidental discovery and nearly four decades later, an American aerospace manufacturer, the Lockheed Corporation, designed and introduced the world's first modern stealth aircraft, F-117 Nighthawk. It had a wide design that reflected incoming radio waves away from the ground more effectively. Apart from this, the surface of the F-117 Nighthawk is coated with a special paint called iron ball paint. If you look closely at the surface coated with the iron ball paint, you see small, multiple cone-like structures like this. So, when an incoming radio wave hits the surface, the radio wave bounces multiple times inside this cone-like structure and causes the radio wave to lose energy. Similar to a bouncing ball losing energy after several bounces. Even with this effective design, some radio waves manage to be reflected back and hit the receiver of the radar. But since the energy of the radio wave is too low, it is perceived as a bird flying in the sky by the radar operators. So far, no advanced stealth aircraft is able to completely vanish from the eyes of radar. But in the near future, we may someday have a completely invisible 
ghost-like aircraft that wanders the sky. And now, rewind. I've got something on priority to do before tomorrow's match. You guys carry on. Thank you.